Now let's look at um, beta, the so-called symmetry factor for the Butler-Volmer equation, simplified Butler-Volmer equation. We say beta is the indicator of the symmetry for the polarization curve, for the current density versus over potential curve, and it typically ranges from 0 to 1. Typically ranges from 0 to 1, actually much closer, uh, 2.5. Okay, and uh, here we plot current density versus over potential under this condition, a fixed J0 exchange current density of 50 milliamp per square centimeter temperature of 25 degrees C and still as one, but then we plug different beta values in there. The black solid curve is for the situation when symmetry factor is 0.5. And then you can see it's symmetric. 0.5 is symmetrical for the polarization curve. On the other hand, if beta and the symmetry factor is smaller than 0.5, such as this orange dotted line for beta in case equals 2.2, and you see that at the same um, over potential anodic 0 0.02 versus cathodic 0 0.02, the an anodic current would be much higher than the cathodic current. I'm talking about the comparing absolute value. Of course, anodic um, for 0 0.004, it's also higher than absolute value, much higher than the cathodic portion. Essentially, it means the anodic direction or the oxidation direction appears to be easier for this electrochemical reaction. On the other hand, when beta equals 0.8, when beta is greater than 0.5, following this green dash dot line, this green dash dot line for beta equals 0.8, which is greater than 0, uh, greater than 0.5, you see that for the same over potential, on the cathodic side, the absolute current density would be higher. Or we should say the cathodic or the reduction direction appears to be easier. For example, at uh, still over potential of 40 millivolts, the cathodic current can be around uh, 0.15 amp, while for the anodic, it uh, only 0.05 amp. Okay, so symmetry factor beta tells us the shape or symmetry for the polarization curve, and it will symmetric when the beta value is 0.5. And if it's smaller than 0.5, quite often it means the anodic ox oxidation direction is easier. Well, if it's greater than 0.5, that means at the same over potential, the reduction on side would appear to be easier. Okay.